My name is Sergei Lagunov, and this is a firewood car. The main problem with firewood power cars is the amount of fuel in the trunk. Not all cars can hold the amount required for a long run, 100, 200, 300, 400 kilometers. And today we will try to experiment with this car. The trunk volume is quite small. If a car is converted to firewood, then it can hold enough fuel for a 30-40 minute run, given that your trunk is large and roomy as in Volga. And if a car is small, the mileage will be even less. So, now we will try to make a car travel at least 400 kilometers, and it will consume 40% of pure water as fuel. That's it, a real water-powered car. A firewood-powered car allows replacing a liter of gasoline at the ridiculous cost of 5 cents. The forgotten technologies of the 1920s are coming to life again. You will see how we reconstruct Volga for running on alternative fuel, stuff it with modern electronics having crossed old and modern technologies. We have installed a microprocessor-based ignition system in the car enabling it to run properly on both gasoline and generator gas. The system allows setting separate curves for gasoline and generator gas and switching between them with the push of a button. By the way, the gasifier gas has an octane number close to 140. As an experiment, we chose a dinosaur in terms of veracity as ZMZ21 a engine from the Pobita car. It is even more voracious than the original Volga engine. As a preparation, we overhauled the engine and increased its compression ratio to 9. We still have to upgrade the inlet manifold. It is known that engines converted to generator gas lose their fill factor due to the resistance of the device, filters, and pipelines, as well as gas temperature. Two horsepower is lost per every 10 degrees of gas heat. We have already made the lower part of the gasifier, here the firebox will locate. Since the firebox will not be highly loaded thermally, it is okay to make it with thin metal. But certain parts still have to be made of thick metal. We will now make a thick-walled part of the gasifier and a rectangular hopper of 2 mm steel. We will put this hopper in the trunk and place filters under it. The gasifier operates under negative pressure, which means that the engine sucks the gasifier gas through the entire system. Therefore, it is very important for the piping to be as smooth as possible and create the least resistance. It has been discovered that 1.35 horsepower is lost for every 2 psi of reduced negative pressure. That's why we now need to sandblast all the pipes from the inside in a sandblasting chamber. In the next videos, we will continue to work on the car. We will assemble the gasifier frame, talk about electronics that we want to install and tell you about tips and tricks for making fuel, charcoal, for a firewood powered car. Sergei Lagunov with his firewood powered car was with you.